Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and in this video we are going to see how we can install NPM Node.js within our MacBook powered by Apple Silicon M1 chip and Mac OS Big Sur. So we are already discussing about Apple Silicon M1 chip installation of Visual Studio Code and how it is different from the Intel architecture because the M1 is basically an ARM architecture processor. So it actually runs all the software which is targeting the Intel architecture by using an transition layer called Rosetta 2 to run those software on this ARM based M1 chip. We already saw that in our earlier video, but in this video we are going to see how we can install Node.js in this machine because while we were trying to run the Puppeteer in our earlier video, we couldn't able to actually do that because we were actually getting the npm not found or npm not installed. So we are going to see how we can install that and we'll see how it actually works. So you can see that this is the integrated terminal that we can actually get on the Visual Studio code. So if I just try to do an npm install, you can see that it says npm not found. So we need to somehow install this npm before we can actually run the node.js commands and stuff. So I'm just going to download the node right now. So download node for Mac OS. And I'm just going to go over here. And this is the installer for the Mac OS. Definitely there is no support for Mac OS with Apple M1 so we need to somehow wait for that before we can actually get that so I'm actually going to install the node and you can see that the node installation comes in I'm going to hit continue I'm going to accept it and then I'm just going to install it and it's going to ask me for the password I'm going to install now and you can see that the installation is happening just pretty much like how it does on the usual Intel powered MacBook Pros. So that's it, the installation is done. So I'm gonna hit close. I'm just gonna move this uh, guy to the bin. And now if I just go to the terminal, and this is the first time actually I'm opening the terminal on this operating system. And let's see if I get the node. And you can see that the node, it comes in. And if I see NPM right now, the NPM is coming in as well. So the node package manager is also available as a part of this particular node installation. So now if I just try to do the NPM install, you can see that the NPM installation is happening, which means we could now able to install the Puppeteer within our new MacBook Pro powered by the Apple M1 chipset. So you can see that it's currently downloading the Chromium for me. And that's it, it has downloaded everything for me. And now you can see that the node modules is also coming in over here. So we can see that the installation of node is happening without any problem. And we can quickly uh, try to run uh, or write a simple code to run a simple browser based testing on this particular machine and we can see how it actually works. So let's say I'm gonna do a first test dot JS. And over here, I'm gonna write the Puppeteer code. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of code because this video is not about how the Puppeteer actually works and stuff. So I'm just gonna go search for the Puppeteer Git or Puppeteer Dev website over here. And you can see there is a simple program to perform those action for us. So I can just do that. And instead of the examples.com, I can probably do at the execute automation.com, ea.png. I'm gonna save this. And now I'm just gonna do a node of first test.js to execute this particular test. And we'll see how it actually works. And because it has downloaded the Chromium for me behind the scene, definitely the Chromium should launch right now. So I'm just running this, I'm just running this test for the first time and we'll see how it actually works. So something actually happened behind the scene uh, and it is running the test for me and the test got completed and you can see that there is a PNG file coming in. So if I see this particular PNG, it is actually taking the screenshot, which means it is actually running the test for me, which is pretty cool. So this proves the point that the code is actually working fine and we could see that we could able to install the Node.js within our Mac OS Big Sur and also we could able to use the same thing in Visual Studio Code 
that is nothing but the experimental visual studio code which is running on the arm processor and it is working fine without any problem so that's it guys catch you in our next video to install other new software which is required for our automation testing and we'll see how the m1 actually behaves for those softwares as well thank you